Hi, thank you so much for joining me for my review for Picture Perfect by Treza Law in the color 24102R12. I would like to say thank you to Hairware UK for sending me Picture Perfect so I can review her for you. So give them a follow, they are lovely. So let's dive in. 24102R12. So let's start with that color, which I think it's a really great summer color. It's a very blonde color. So you have a root of 12, which is like an ashy light brown. And look how beautifully it then goes into these platinum highlights. And then you also have some warmer blondes that are a bit darker coming through as well. So what you have is a shoulder length bob with a little bit of a longer fringe here, which kind of hugs your neck a little bit. And I think it's really flattering. Density wise, it's quite lightweight. I do feel there's a little bit of permatease, especially here. And I think that's the one thing I'm not so happy about. And I probably just need to use some heat on it to press this down. There's a little bit of a bump. And I try to push it down and it kind of comes up. But otherwise, when I put it on for the first time, she was a little bit of a flopper, but it didn't take long. I just played with her a little bit and then you can see how the contour is appearing easily and quickly. No products in it, nothing. Tag is still attached. Um, I've only worn her for a day or two um, just to get a real feel for her. Um, so just let me show you her from all sides, obviously the front, <laughs> the back. She has lovely movement, really nice movement, very natural. They have these heat friendly fibers, they feel incredibly soft, incredibly realistic I find. And let's look at the lace front. <laughs> Amazing. I think it's beautiful. So they obviously brought also the lighter pieces to the front, which obviously helps a lot. But if you look, you cannot see knots. And I cannot see the lace front in itself either. So it's, it's, it's very, <laughs> it's very nice. And that just adds to the realism. It's amazing. Also, I want to mention that the lace front, I don't really even feel. So it, it, when you touch it, you can feel it a little bit rough. But when you actually put it on, I can't feel it even being there. So it's a mono top, and I will show you the cap in a minute. And so you can part it wherever. And I think it's really well done. Fit wise, when it came straight out of the box, I had to tighten it. So at the moment, it's on the tightest setting without having to cross it. There is bagginess on it for me. Um, I'm a 21.5 inch circumference, so petite average, there is additional <laughs> room there. So I would say average and above. I don't think you would have a problem with this. Petite, it might be too big. Just double check that with the retailer um, if you're considering buying it. But I don't find it uncomfortable. I don't find it that it makes a difference if I want to wear it or not. It's not that baggy and it's not that big of a problem. There is one bit here, for me, obviously it's just on me, where I, I notice it is too big as such, where the wefts are laying over each other and then you get a bit of a bump. I don't know if, if you can see that. And this is where I know that there is more room than I need. So um, just so you, you are aware of that. The ear taps on me sit actually quite high. 
so they sit here. So there's no impeding of the cap on my ears. So, so that's that's very very nice. Um, so fit wise overall, I've worn this for a couple of for a few hours and I didn't have a problem with it. I didn't find it too much, too big, baggy, etc. But I just want to point that out to you. So let's look at the cap construction. So you have a mono top, so you can part it wherever you like in that area and that will really give you a feel of natural movement in that area. And then you have a lace front that is also quite deep, which is lovely. You have velvet covered ear tabs with metal stays in them and they are strong. You have vefted cap. A little bit of stretch there, okay? And then you can see how tight I have to have it. Um, but it's an extended velvet nape. So I think Picture Perfect is a lovely, lovely piece. I mean, you have different styling options as well because of the mono top. So you could have it parted on the other side. You can part it in the middle if you love that look. Let me see if I can get that. <laughs> Ish. It's long enough. If you want to tie it back, you can. Side. You might be able to do a side. A side pony but some of these bits here will fall out. You just can pin this up if you wanted to. Because of the lace front you can tie back your fringe. It's really lightweight. You have a bit of permatease and as I said that bit here where you can feel that permatease there is this bump and I will try and <laughs> want to get rid of that but it's, I think the density is perfect. I think it makes it look like a really natural piece. Straight out of the box, it didn't take me long at all to walk out of the door. Just really shake, put on, comb it a bit through, adjust, find my parting space, and that was it. I don't think it needs plucking at all, and I do like to pluck my, um, my wigs. Um, Density look easily attackable on both sides. It's it's a lovely, easy to wear piece. I, I really like it. So I'm going to take you into different areas of the house just so you can see this color in different lights because sometimes that really gives you an idea. So this is now in the conservatory where you have light from above and from the front. So if I take you outside, proper sun here. And just look in the natural light at this lace front. It's a bit windy. See how lovely it moves in the wind. She can tangle, especially in the wind. She becomes a little bit tangly, so I would always have a comb with you. And what I do is I put some silicone spray on my longer wigs anyway. They don't seem to tangle as much then. Um, so that's what I do. Just really just one spray and that will will be enough. So thank you again to Hairwear UK for sending me Picture Perfect so I can review her for you. Um, so give them a follow and follow me on Instagram and Facebook and on YouTube if you haven't done so already. And I hope I see you soon. Thank you. Bye.